Hey, I am Miss Gunderson from Trail Ridge, and today I'm going to show you how to play Baby Shark on your instrument, and then we're going to use that song that I think all of you probably have heard before, and we're going to use that to learn how to shift on our instrument. So we're used to playing in first position down here, and we're going to learn how to go up and play here today, okay, which should be really fun. Um, so I'm going to be demonstrating on the violin viola and the cello. Okay, so to baby, play Baby Shark, what we're going to do is we're going to play D, E, G. Okay, so we start with open D, E, and then several Gs in a row. So it ends up sounding like this. I'll start on the, the D string, and but you could play this on the A string or the G string or whatever string you wanted to play on. So here's the D string, which is D, E, note is F sharp. Okay, so now I'm going to try that or show you that on the cello. So the same thing, we're going to start with open D and then E and then G. And we will end with F sharp. Okay, so when you first start to shift, you want to do this without the bow because you're going to want to pay a lot of attention to your left hand. So to shift, what we're going to do is we're going to actually shift up and replace where the fourth finger goes with our first finger. Okay, and that's the third tape that we're used to having. So if it's the third tape, we're in third position. Okay, or anytime you replace with G, it's third position. So this is first position because that's where our first finger goes. And then when we shift up, we're replacing that with um, where, our third, where our third note goes on the string with first finger. Okay? So instead of playing D, E, G with fourth finger, we're going to play D, E, and then we're going to play with first finger up here. It's a slide. Don't think it's a jump like that. It's a slide and we're sliding. Notice I'm sliding my thumb with my finger. The whole hand slides together. Okay. So, and you want to kind of start slow. And then I'm going to come back down to F sharp. So we're not only sliding up, for the last note, we're sliding back. And we'll repeat that several times in a row, just like the song Baby Shark does. So on the violin or viola, what that looks like is this. We're starting on open D, and then we're replacing our third finger, which is where G is. We're replacing that with first finger. And again, we're sliding. Notice I'm bringing my whole hand up. I'm not just bringing my first finger up and leaving my thumb back. Okay, you have to bring your thumb with you, which means you have to relax your fingers a little bit to get up there. Okay, so it's D, E, G, G, G. And then we're coming back to F sharp, two fingers. Okay. Um, and again, you want to start pizzicato because when you start bowing, what will happen is when you come up, like your bow will want to come this way too, okay? So you'll need to be so comfortable with your left hand and moving it like a whole block together, okay? So it's got a block shape and you want to move the whole block together that you can then focus on your, your right hand as well. sharp and you may just to start with need to go back and forth between the first finger spot so e to g g to e just to get the sliding down between first position and third position and i'll show what that looks like on the cello as well
notice we're using, we're shifting with the whole hand. Our hand is a block. We're shifting with the whole hand. So if I'm playing the whole baby shark tune, I'm going to do it on the violin. If I'm playing the whole baby shark tune, it sounds like this. Say we want to do that on the A string. It's the same concept. Just make sure you are sliding and not jumping. Okay, have fun with that, guys.